So you've been very outspoken on what's happening in Israel. Give me um, your assessment of how the Biden administration is handling the response uh, to what Hamas started. Sure. Well, for just 30 seconds, I can give you a quick recap of really what's going on here, and then we can talk about the administration. I would say this is nothing short of an attempted second Holocaust, period. These people do not want any Jew living in the ancient land of Israel, where Jesus from Nazareth was from, uh, which the entire world knows that there's a little connection between Jews and, say, Jerusalem, where the Western Wall is and the ancient temple. And every time you go there, and Sean, I'm sure you've been there probably several times, you know, they're excavating. It's an incredible country because they're always building up because they're a technological powerhouse. So they're building incredible cities, but they're also always building down in that they're excavating and unearthing history. And they find ancient cups with Hebrew writing where you can go to the Judean hills, now unfortunately commonly known as the West Bank, the Judean hills where the story of Hanukkah, that whether you're religious or not, everyone knows is the story of the oil and the eight nights of the Jews defending Judea. You're not gonna believe who lived in Judea from the Greek invaders, but her history, you know, history has been upended. Uh, there is nothing to be clear, and then I'll talk about the administration. There is nothing the Israelis can offer Hamas other than complete submission and a second annihilation that will make them happy. That is what this is about. It has nothing to do with the territorial dispute. 